Hello, everybody. This is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming to you today with a quick video um, for our restaurant friends. And this video is from a subscriber. The video is requested by a subscriber that watched one of our Wi-Fi videos, and they asked if we could do the heat map process um, for a restaurant that would want to install its own Wi-Fi um, for less than $500. Okay, it's a pandemic. We have we all have limited resources until we get through this, um, but we still want to provide our guests the best service possible. And Wi-Fi is one of those things that that guests like. So we're going to show you these access points are one hundred and fifty dollars a piece. Very cost effective. A typical restaurant needs two or three of them. Um, so, again, for under five hundred dollars, you can do this yourself. You don't have to pay an installer thousands of dollars to, to put a Wi-Fi system in. This is a cloud managed Wi-Fi system. Um, they're industrial grade access points made for multiple users and high throughput. Um, and they come, listen to this, with a free captive portal that will allow you to customize a splash screen to advertise your specials, advertise uh, future events like entertainers coming in to play music and stuff like that. Um, you can do this all free, no monthly fee, and it promotes your business, right? It communicates things that maybe your waitresses or hostesses don't. So let's dive into it. Access points. We want to determine where we want coverage, okay? And I can tell you right now, using this coverage zone tool that restaurants want the seating areas to have Wi-Fi, right? That's where people are going to be. So we're going to put coverage zones in the um, in the seating areas and also in the lounge, okay? We want to keep those characters in the lounge bar area occupied so they don't annoy the hell out of us because they do. Yes, they do. Um, so now we've defined our, our coverage areas. We are going to put in the access points, okay? And in restaurant environments, um, which we have done a lot of, we want the ECW120 dual band access point, cloud managed. And what we're going to do is put one as centrally located as we can in each area. So we're going to put one in this dining room and this dining room. Um, and in the lounge. And you can see the blue circles, ECW 160s, beautiful. And when we do this heat map, we want to do it on the five gigahertz frequency. Access points are dual band today. They have the five gigahertz frequency and a 2.4. Five is faster and there are more channels on the five, okay? 2.4 is a uh, slower internet speed, but it's stronger, it penetrates. Um, and 2.4 is more congested because there's only three channels, right? One, six, and 11. So we want to plan our systems on five, and we certainly want most of our people to be able to get on five. So we're going to hit a heat map populator, and it will show us the coverage in our restaurant, okay? As you can see, we see red in those areas, and that's what we want. We can look at the RSI or DBM scale to my right, and it will tell you that minus 25 is red, and minus 75 is light blue. Wi-Fi is a little bit backwards in that the lower the number, the better, stronger the signal is. Okay. So we want good Wi-Fi is from, you know, minus 20 or minus 30, probably to about minus 60. Anything minus 60 to 75 um, is what I refer to as junk Wi-Fi. You'll be able to connect to it with a weak signal, but you're getting no throughput and everything's going to be lagging and it's just not good. So if we use our mouse and hover, we can see what the strength is in these dining rooms and we are in the minus 30s and 40s. Perfect. Here, minus 30s. I don't even see about, oh, there's a minus 40. And obviously the lounge is a smaller area. We're golden in there. Um, in this type of environment, you could eliminate the access point in the bar area um, and see what you have for coverage. Um, and you'll see that it says minus 42. However, we have walls that we have to account for. Um, so this transmitting here through walls, um, you're not going to get a good signal. So that's why we have one in the bar area to make sure the bar area is also in red because without it, you're not in the red, and that does not account for the wall. So you definitely want um, one in the bar area. And again, these are $150 a piece. Um, this package would be $450. You can do it yourself. You run Cat6 cable from these access points 
to your office, okay, directly. We don't want mesh. We want everything plugged in directly. Very important. Don't do mesh. Do, do them hardwired directly to the switch, okay? Um, in your office, you should have a Fortinet or a sonic wall firewall uh, that these are connected to, and then we have your internet. Um, it's important to have a firewall with a Wi-Fi system. I can't tell you how many restaurants I go into, and they have a Comcast modem in the office, and it's broadcasting Wi-Fi to guests in the restaurant to use with no firewall. No, you have a POS system, you have email, you do banking in your office, you need a firewall to sep your, separate your internal network, LAN, from the Wi-Fi, from the public Wi-Fi. Um, so very important. There's a link below um, in the description column of this video that will have a link um, for firewalls. There's also a link um, to show you how to attach these guys to that cloud management system. It's free. You can do your own splash screens. You can do a lot of neat stuff. So please subscribe if you like this video. If the video content is useful to you, we will have more uh, videos for small and medium-sized businesses, uh, do-it-yourself videos that can save you money. Good stuff. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in the field. Have a good day.